What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the flow tank. All right, guys, so this one comes to us from our friends over at Watofo. This is the Flow Tank. It's a nice little plain and simple down and dirty sub tank. You know, it's good always to have one of these things on hand just in case you don't have your building supplies or if you just don't feel like building a coil, then having a nice pre-made coil sub tank is the way to go. All right, guys, so before we get into this video, I do have to state my intent by saying that I did receive this product for free from the manufacturer for the purpose of doing this video. However, it has no monetary value to me, which means my opinions on it will remain honest and unbiased of course, as always. With that being said, I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the people over at Watofo for sending this along my way. Always love taking a look at their products and I hope to continue to do so for a very long time. All right, guys, so taking a quick look online, this thing's available in a few different color options. You have black, stainless, blue, neochrome, and gold as well. So no matter what, you'll be able to match it with whatever mod you decide to put this thing on. And the price point is pretty decent at $29.99. That's a pretty decent price for a simple little coil tank like this one here. And when it comes time to replace your coil, a five pack is gonna cost you $13.99. So for me, it's really hard for me to justify the expense of pre-made coil heads, whereas it comes to more of the rebuildable side of things, which I'm used to, it costs me pennies when it comes time to replace my coils or my wicks. So with that, that's just my opinion, you know, obviously out there for you guys that don't know how to build or are really not interested in that side of vaping, then you guys probably would say that's a pretty cheap coil. But in any case, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got our flow tank in the original box. Let's quickly take a look around the packaging and then we'll talk about what is inside. So first and foremost, we have a cool looking black and white skater dude on the front here with a little bit of spot gloss. On the front, we have with Tofo, this side black, which is our color. We have a scratch it and check authentication and the UPC. On this side, we have another with Tofo logo and on this side, with Tofo.com with yet another color indication. And on the back, we have what the kit contains some warnings and some manufacturer information so no big surprise there really nothing out of the ordinary let's open up the top see what we got inside here big block of foam we have of course the flow tank itself which we'll take a look at in just a second we have a nice piece of glass which is a spare of course and the silicone plug that actually came installed in the device. Now this is the their way of getting around TPD compliance. So if a shop sells you a tank with a plug in it, then that is how it should be used technically. They have to sell you something that is no more than two milliliter capacity but once you bring it out of the store, it is yours to modify. So there you go, there's your TPD compliance plug, and we have an extra 0.25 ohm coil. So let's take a look underneath and see what we get. So there we go, we have the Watofo giveaway. They always give away their t-shirts and stuff, so you can check that out if you got one of these. Oh, <laughs> And uh, all right, that's something different. A uh, little artist card, I guess. Uh, this must have been designed by some sort of artist, which is kind of cool. So there you go, kind of reminds me of the uh, Mr. Smiley thing from uh, Half Baked or something. So <laughs> there you go. Um, next up we have an instruction manual. Oh yes, sweet, sweet booklet style instruction manual. Yay, none of those fold out things for us. Uh, we get the nice booklet style, of course. Many, 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 many languages. But yeah, pretty easy to read, graphics based. I like it. And last but not least, we have our obligatory package of spares. Uh, I'm not even gonna open this because I know exactly what it is. It's all just O-rings in here. So you get a full set of O-rings, of course, as you typically do with these sort of tanks. All right, guys, so real quick, let's just run through some of these specs. It's 24 millimeters in diameter. It has a threaded top fill system, two fill ports, four mil juice capacity with a TPD reducer. It uses the Watofo Flow Coil family, which are 0.25 ohms, 35, to 60 watts, compatible with smoke TFV8 baby beast coils. Uh, it has dual adjustable bottom airflow, 12 millimeters by two millimeters each air slot. Of course, that's dualed there and uh, they're fully closable. It's made from SS316 and Pyrex construction, six millimeter bore Delrin drip tip and silver plated 510 connection. All right, guys, let's go ahead and break this thing down. I'll show you all the parts and pieces. First of all, we have the drip tip here. It's just a standard 
Delrin drip tip. It is wide bore, six millimeter diameter, and it has two little O-rings at the bottom, which hold it really nice in place. It's kind of a wider base than normal. Uh, kind of looks like it would be an 810, but it is not. There you can see the bore right there. It is pretty darn wide for a 510, but nothing really too fancy. So let's go ahead and bring this back in real quick. We'll show you the top cap section. Uh, top cap has O-rings on the inside here and the outside there, which prevent any sort of leaking whatsoever. It never had any sort of leaking issues with this tank, which is great. And uh, here are the fill ports at the top. Very, very, very generous fill ports. Really easy to fill this thing up in a matter of a couple of seconds. Uh, definitely no trouble getting your juice into this. No problem there. So taking off the glass section, that's pretty much it for, you know, the actual components of the tank. You know, it just attaches to the coil directly there, and that's about how it's uh, held together. We do have a Q2 Baby Beast coil in here um, for now, just because... Uh, uh, I already went through the original coil that was in there. So we'll just take that out. And yes, this is a baby bees coil. There you go. And there's the bottom section there. Nothing too fancy, nothing to write home about. Uh, it has flow written right there on the base piece. And you have your very generous airflow slots. Uh, of course, dual airflow slots right there and there. And there we go. On the bottom, it says flow one more time, if you didn't get the message already, with a silver-plated 510 connection. So that's about all I had to talk about in this little close-up section here. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off today with the pros, and my first pro is that it's small. This thing is more on the short and stout kind of stature. It fits really, really nicely on this Inakin Oceanus mod, and I could definitely appreciate that because nowadays you have a lot of these tanks being super, super tall. Like, personally, in my opinion, I think the Crown 3 is really, really towering in comparison to this device here, and yeah, I really like a nice, short short, fat tank from time to time. You know, it just fits on those kind of devices, especially something like the Wismec Gen 3. Again, a nice short and stout mod. It definitely would go with a short and stout tank. My second pro today is that it's simple. It's not overcomplicated. You don't have a million O-rings in this thing. It's just a plain and simple, down and dirty, easy to use sub tank. And that's kind of what this world needs nowadays. You have so many tanks with multiple coil heads and all these different complicated features and whatnot to the tank. This one here, you screw off the top, you fill it with juice, and you're on your way and vaping in a matter of a couple of minutes, and that's exactly what I love about it. My third pro today is that this thing has a decent juice capacity. Now, taking one look at it, you would say, no way, that's too short or too small to have a four mil tank, but it is in fact true. Once you remove that two mil TPD plug, it opens it right up to reveal that it's four mils, and yes, I still go through about two tanks of juice a day. However, it passes the long drive test. I can get through about an hour, hour and a half drive, no problem on one tank absolutely, and it's with me pretty much chain vaping. And my fourth and final pro for this device is the price. Now, generally speaking, I don't look at the prices before I record my videos, so when I opened up the web browser and searched for the flow tank online to find out that it cost about 30 bucks, I was happy because I kind of make a mental note of what I feel like it should cost, what's the value of the product, and in my mind, this thing, if it was any more than like 35 or $40, I would have to say no to it, but with this thing being at the $30 price point, it's just right for the amount of features that it has. It's it's good for the beginner vapor, someone that's new and just wants something simple and easy to use and relatively inexpensive. That's the type of vapor that this device is marketed at, and I agree 100% with the price point on this one, and you can even find a better deal if you look around. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is that the screw-off top cap fill section just feels a little bit dated to me. Now, if this thing came out six months to a year ago, it would fit in no problem. But with nowadays technology, you have all these other companies coming out with their slide open or twist open fill sections. Now, if you put one of those on this device here, yes, it would increase functionality, but it would also kind of take away from the simplicity of it. However, you're not gonna end up knocking your top cap off the table and have it roll across the floor gathering dust. And my second and final 
general con for this device is the coils that come with it aren't the greatest. Now, I was using it for about a week on my own juice. I brought it to the London Vape Show with me and I just started getting dry hits. I'm not sure out of nowhere, just started getting dry hits randomly. I'm not sure if the pressure from the plane or anything had to do with that fact, but I really couldn't use this too much when I got to London because I was getting dry hit after dry hit and nothing I did would prevent it. So as soon as I got home, I threw a baby beast coil in there, which helped. And now I'm actually using some coils from Medusa. These are actually staple coils, which I'll be doing in a uh, the second part of this video here, which is probably up right now on the channel. So make sure you go check out that video right after this one. But with that, these coils are working really, really well for me in this device here, and I'm absolutely loving them. And my only other minor gripe about this device is that the drip tip on it is a bit misleading. It looks like it's going to be an 810 tip, when in actuality, it's just a standard 510. It is plenty wide bore. However, it's just a little bit disappointing when you take it off and it looks like it skipped leg day. So is this thing worth it? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these things up if I didn't get this one free for review? And my answer would be yes, but only under certain circumstances. Now, personally, I have never owned a Baby Beast or any other smoke tank for that matter. And with this thing here, it kind of fills that sort of niche if you want to get into that sort of world, if you want to be able to have access to those coils, but don't want a smoke product. This thing is just barely cheap enough to justify the purchase. However, it comes in a bunch of cool colors. And if you like to be a little bit different from all your friends, friends that have the baby beast or big baby beast, then this would be a good option for you. So make sure you check out the links I've got right down there in the description below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. Also check out the second part of this video where I go over the coils that I use in mine, which are these Medusa staple Clapton baby beast coils, which are pretty darn cool. I'll leave a link right down there in the description if you guys want to check that out as well. So that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to also click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos and leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts all about the flow tank or anything else you guys want to discuss. Don't forget to also check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the box below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on.